Hi, so this is preposition and tonight we are focusing full on vocabulary. So I'm going to be reviewing all of the words that goes with where is the pumpkin, okay? So it'll be on or under or all these different prepositions. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first word, um, I'm just going to go down the list quick. Um, this is basket. This can be a basket like this. And now we have a pond, which is water right here. So this is a classifier, water there. And trees, trees. This is your hand, and it's usually on this right here. We set it like this, and tree. Table, table, just like this. And then we have, let me pull this down here. Um, so we have a bucket. I can do a bucket and show what it looks like, like a bucket, or I can do a bucket with a handle. Car. Okay, it's like you're driving the car. Car. Trampoline. Trampoline. I just love trampolines. Wear me out. House. House. So this is the roof of the house. So we're just doing that on the sides. The difference of home is like where you eat and sleep. So this is house. You can um, sign either one of those. Box. Box. It's like this way and then this way. Box. Backpack. There are more options for this. Backpack as well. Backpack, backpack, backpack. Um, you decide. It really, some signs depends on where you live, honestly. Okay, bicycle. It's like your feet, your feet are on the, the pedals and you're riding. Bicycle. And again, these are, um, we're reviewing pumpkin prepositions right here. Um, all the vocabulary that goes in it to where you get to learn uh, where is pumpkin. Um, ladder. Ladder. L-A-D-D-E-R. Ladder. And this is a short one. Drums. But da -da 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 -da. Or it could be like this. Um, if for clarity, I might spell drum first and then this happens to be like bongos, so I'm going to go bongos. A tree again. Slide. Just take your, this is like you're sitting, but you're sitting and you're going down the slide. We slide. A locker. We can do locker like this, a door. I've seen locker like this. I've seen it like open. I've seen it like this, like a closet. So it really depends on where you live and what sign in your area. For me, I probably it really depends for the really young kids it's really like um, this box because um, that is uh, really it's a cubby so again it really depends on what kind so we can call this locker or we can call it a big cubby notice I didn't do box like this I did it like this and like this um, like that you can decide again refrigerator um, this is a small one so I might sign cute because it's small cute and R R I F refridge, R refridge. <laughs> what do I do? Spell <laughs> cold open. Okay, uh, bag. Simply a bag. Might be a food bag, or you know, it depends. You can add another sign if it's an exact kind. And this is just uh, like a bowl, a bowl, some kind of bowl. We're cupping it. This is a barrow, so we're gonna show it bigger. We might have it non-manual markers, like like this, or ch use a cha, cha, to show that it's a barrow. Tent, these are our hook em long horns, okay? And tent, tent. It's kind of like house, tent. T and there we have our, our sand bucket. We did that one already, the bucket. We did box already. Window is two times because it's a noun, window. To open the window is this. However, you can use classifiers and actually show what kind of a window you are opening. And this is curtains. See, we flow it this way and then down for curtains. And again, these are our preposition papers for where is pumpkin. Okay, and we're reviewing all the vocabulary that goes with this whole set which also includes all sign language. Okay, this is a board. Happens to be a green 
chalk where we write on it board. You could do an outline of the board as well. This is kind of like a, uh, um, like a cute table. It's it's small table, um, or it could be a little desk. We call that dresser, really. Uh, this is a bench, um, bench. so I might go chair. Really, I'd spell it to be clear because this is couch, but it's like for two people to sit. So uh, yeah, that one I would probably finger spell bench, sit like this bed, bed, and umbrella, umbrella. So you can find these at aslteachingresources.com. Just look for the pre-K curriculum. This is unit three for the prepositions. Again, this is just a table. We call this one a coffee table. Chair, two times chair it's a noun verb chair versus sit okay the noun noun is two times the verb is one time okay and a log this is wood and i would spell a log wood log um this is flip-flops so we take it and we go like this because we know what a, a flip-flop looks like it's shoes and then we indicate that it's a flip-flop by hooking it right there. Shoes, flip-flop. Could say summer shoes if you want. Hot air balloon. So this one is, um, you could have the basket like this and show it like this. Going across, I've seen it like this. Um, you might clarify like hot air and then go like that. That's a neat one, right? Flower, this is like you're smelling the flower, flower. Again, some of these are review. This is a gear, so it's like a mechanical gear. I would spell gear. Um, and this is, I'm not sure what this is. It's a frame, so I might go frame. I might use my classifiers and show the, show the shape of it. Excuse me, the shape, size. Um, tire, I spell tire, T-I-R-E, and then I might go like this, tire. And uh, I guess this is a barrel, so I might go barrel like this. Um, it's just showing it's a, cil a cylinder. Door is two time because it's again noun verb, door two times, door. There's our window. Hula hoop, we get to spell it. Hula hoop, okay? Or you can do, do circle. It's a circle. Start here, hold it, and go circle. And again, these are, our, we're reviewing our prepositions with all sign language. Um, we have tons of clip arts for it. Trying to find out where the pumpkin is in this particular one. Um, and this is found right here, again, if you're looking for it, at ASL Teaching Resources. Uh, dot com and you'll be able to get it there okay a bear this is bear take your claw hands and go bear this is a rose it's like flower but it's an R hand it's initialized more ASL we would sign flower but and spell rose R-O-S-E okay but flower rose again that's the smell of it book two times this one kind of varies i see deaf you still just sign it once but i think it's just because it's a, a, a quite often used sign but technically we're going to sign book two times to open the book is one time cat cat and that's um your whiskers pulling on the whiskers again we're reviewing vocabulary for our pre-k curriculum unit three this is prepositions phrases okay that right here know what to teach and when to teach it um, this one is let me double check here oh it's a truck so truck can be signed different um, truck I've seen truck with the letter T's or you can still sign this and spell truck um, if it was like a semi truck we would pull the chain or you know like this okay let's see where we're at here 
uh, guitar. So just pretend you're playing guitar. Guitar, boom, 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 boom. This one happens to be a lamp. You're gonna take your finger and flick. If you did light on, it's this way. Light off is this way. On, off. Light, light. Basketball, basketball. It's the claw hands for basketball. And milk. So this happens to be a bottle of milk. Wheelbarrow, uh, actually I would finger spell that. It's, you know, or you can just go like this, like you're pushing it this way, holding the handles. Just imagine yourself pushing this like this. But for clarity, you'd wanna do that. And this is a palm tree. I would still finger spell palm first. How, are you enjoying this vocabulary? You're learning a lot, right? This is wonderful. So this one's not quite a, um, not quite a flower, but it's, this can be plant. Um, so that's to grow two times is plant. I've also seen real English, a pea appear, okay? But we're gonna do plant two times, plant. And for it to grow, we're gonna go like this one time. And let's see here. Again, these, um, these are amazing. You can find these um, at our, on our website at ASL Teaching Resources um, and Pre-K Curriculum. Mm -hmm. We have butterfly, butterfly. I always get confused between butterfly and moth. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do. Butterfly, okay, butterfly, um, grass grass okay just this claw hand like this grass rock we're gonna go like this we're gonna hit our hands and then make the rock shape rock helicopter okay helicopter I've seen it like this too but this represents a car it's classifier and helicopter balloons Okay, that's a balloon. Um, I'd spell it balloon and then like this. Airplane, two times airplane. This is the I love you hand for airplane. If you move it, then it is flying, okay? Airplane, coming into a landing. <laughs> Sun, um, I tend to use the C hand with younger kids, but you can do a circle and then spread it out like sunshine. Let me see if I can do that again. This one, or you can go circle and then go like this. Circles in the air to draw the circle and then go like that, okay? So again, I do this with younger kids because it's the same, it's the same concept as moon with this, the, the um, classifier for C, okay? And then this one right here, modified C. That's the word I want, modified C or, or the C hand. Again, just to be clear, this is sun, or draw a circle and let it shine. Bird. Bird. So it's just the beak. Bird. And there we are. It's a lot of vocabulary. Kite. Okay, we're flying the kite. And there's our moon. Um, moon. Modified C. B. A bumblebee. Uh, I seen it where you flick and slap it. Flip, just as if it was on your face. You're gonna flick it and smack it. <laughs> Don't smack too hard. Okay, we did. This is a stool. I would spell that stool. A dresser. Um, you can use one hand or two hands for this one. It, I would use one hand. One, two. To show there's different drawers that you open and these are just you know blocks blocks I didn't use box notice my bigger hands blocks um, I've seen like blocks but these are I don't really know exactly what kind they are I might spell it block for clarity and let's see this is a window notice two times and to open it is this way notice notice the doors are this way window 
grocery cart. I can say food and then cart. Cart, I'm pushing it. Or I could just say cart. I could spell it cart as well. And again, bag, like you're holding onto the handles. That's just a tray. I'm just using this as a classifier, a tray. And that's a pot, and I think we're done. Yes, give me one second here. My alarm is going off, um, and there we go. That is the whole list of vocabulary for signing each of the icons that you will find in the pre-K um, the pre-k vocabulary be sure and go visit aslteachingresources.com and another night we will review more of the vocabulary and explain even more thank you